one of the first things that I will predict once elected president is a new cabinet position on civil society affairs. For me, this is important because we are going to introduce a new concept of governance that goes beyond just government. In this new concept, the new balance of power in society is not within the legislative, executive, judicial, judiciary branch, all of that, they're important, but a larger balance of power between the government, civil society, and business. This is important, and see if there's not going to be any genuine democracy in this country if you don't empower citizens to truly participate in shaping the destiny of this nation. We are one how of the world's strongest. How often would you consult your uh, they, They're not only consult, they're going to be part of a massive effort to have all government agencies have civil society representation. Because without them, democracy is lost. We need civil society to truly empower our people. favor of a liberalized mining industry? The, the existing uh, environment, uh, the Mining Act of the Philippines in, uh, that was passed in 1995 has so many loopholes and as such we are now facing a lot of environmental disasters, not only environmental disasters but also displaced people and increasingly angry humans all over the country. I per se am not against mining per se because it would be contradictory, for example, to my use of computers, which come from a mine, the use of a car, which comes from a mine, and so on. What I'm in favor of is a transformation of our mining law to make sure that we're not violating the rights of indigenous people, to make sure that there's equitable distribution of the income that we derive from mining, to make sure we're not mining in watersheds, we respect ancestral domain, we have to put in the ecological and social safeguards. We are now living in the age of sustainable development. Environment and development do not necessarily have to be in conflict, but what we need is the broader framework of trying to understand how legitimate needs can be addressed so that we will not be destroying the source of our life, which is the environment in the long term, because in the end, we destroy the environment, our economy will collapse. Ongoing and the climate change we're facing is an example of how humanity as a whole has gone overboard in totally focusing on its development at the expense of nature. In the end, no one can overrun nature. In the end, nature strikes back if we ignore nature. And in the end, social systems strike back at the backlash if we keep on ignoring indigenous people's rights. We cannot regain our dignity as a nation if we do not have respect for the indigenous peoples who own a lot of the mining in this country. Thank you.